Tournament 2004, the latest game in the UT series, uh, apart from Unreal Tournament 3. Uh, this strip was written in 2004, you know. <clears throat> Offers a few long-awaited new elements to gameplay. Along with these features, there are a few guidelines that are best followed. Otherwise, accidents might happen. New to the franchise are vehicles. Some can seat up to three players. Although, if you're the driver, for the love of crap, know how to drive! The addition of voice communication now means faster coordination with teammates. It does not mean this is your own personal karaoke machine. One of the new assault maps on hand involves two teams racing down the desert in a Mad Max-style cargo robbery. If your team is defending the cargo, you must jump across to the next transport vehicle in order to stop the theft. It's not needed, nor is it wise, for every last person on the team to be a sniper and clog the jump points. If you really insist on hiding on the train, get the hell out of the way! Hey guys, think you could move so we don't get our asses kicked? from your parents and learn about what they do for a living. Except you, Link. You don't have parents. Unless you want to bring that tree in. Do you want to bring a tree in? Go to hell! Right. Then let's get started. I think this is my dad. Yeah, I beat up hookers for money. Well, after I sleep with them. Except for his mom, though. She was a hooker with a heart of gold. And the mouth of a... Moving on! This is my daddy. He works at Black Mesa. He's a scientist, and I think he ate mom. He just makes me call him daddy. I'm not your mother. But does anyone understand this thing? Please tell it I'm not its mother. I don't speak crazy head sucker language. How did you even get enrolled here? This is my dad, and he's... Dad? Where are you? Dad? Dad? Dad! My dad is Manny Calivera. He shits people of their mortal coil. I'm a travel agent. You know, smoking kills. Actually, I was hit by a train. Oh, now plants, those are deadly. My mom is a... In the 90s, I was named the sexiest character in the video game industry. People went mad for my polygons. Then Duke Nukem knocked me up. I had this little brat on my figure up right to hell. Now I turn chicks behind the 7-Eleven. Ah, this is going right into the college fund. Oh crap, second star. I'm not going back to jail. Here's on your man now. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> God, it's so hot out. Hot like my butt. Which really isn't that hot. No, not with that face growing out of it. If you touch it, you can see the future. 
You know, like that Total Recall movie, only totally not. They ripped me off. Would you like to see the future? Do you even listen to yourself anymore? I try not to, it breaks the illusion. So where are we going anyway? Why else do I enter society? To get a game. It's that new MMORPG, Medieval Quest Online. World of Medieval Quests Online. Rated agility plus one. Lame! From you. That one of those generic online fantasy games where you spend otherwise productive hours leveling up pointlessly? I didn't ask you to come. Yeah, but I can't go back home at the moment. I found these weird eggs, so now I've got a bit of a bug problem. <laughs> How does the bitter taste of defeat feel, huh? I don't know, Frank. You clearly have a better view of my screen than your own. Why don't you tell me? Freaking screen watcher. Ah, uh, thick up! Besides, I want to check out that new action game, Shooter Guy 2. Shooter Guy 2! Now with more one-liners! Aggression evolved! You know, a game with gameplay, but I'm sure a game that feels like work is good too. Online RPGs are about the social interaction, damn it! Yes, social interaction. Of course. Spare bunnies for a noob? Heal, please. How I mine for fish? Hey, a girl. Let's cyber. Just shut up. Cloud, the group has been talking and we feel that it's time for a new leader. Shoot us! Explain your treachery! To put it simply, you're a cheapskate and it's having serious effects on everyone. Name one time, Gimpy. Well... You know, a soft potion would clear this right up. Are you kidding? You know how much they cost? I'm not made of soft potions. I'm not made of in coupons. I'm not made of Phoenix Downs. Ether. Now. Ether? I'm not made of ether? Oh, wait. Uh, I guess I am. Technically. Uh, live stream and all. Hey, Vincent. I am made of. Um. Vincent? Oh. Fine. I'll form my own party, hmm. and we'll rock harder than any of you deceitful dogs. <laughs> Keep walking. Prepare for trouble. Make it double. No, no, huh? this stops right now. Ten years. Ten fucking years you've been following me. And for what? Pikachu? You want him so badly? Here, take him! He's not even shiny. I've got like eight more. Because you see, I haven't been wasting my life stalking some kid. I caught my own Pokemon. I've got so many Pokeballs I don't know what to do with them. I'm fucking tripping balls. Ask Oak. Bitch been tripping balls. Stay the hell out of my sight! And let me heal you. Fuck this! Looks like we got ourselves some <laughs> hmm. Mister? I don't think I like your no attitude. Psst. Hey, kid. Hmm? You need to see what I got. A monkey's paw! That's right, I'll grant you four wishes. Anything you could ever want. 
for the right price. <laughs> Wait, why don't you use it and just wish for money? Because after I sell it, I'll have your money. I'll take eight. Oh, you gotta know when to hold the monkey paw. Gotta know when to fall the monkey paw. I don't know the words of this song, monkey paw. I know exactly what I'm wishing for. I've waited on it my whole life. I can't believe it. I'm actually going to play the game of my dreams, an embodiment of my childhood. Pipe bombs, pickups, rechargeable shields, strip. Wait. Rechargeable shields? Change to my nostalgia. Unacceptable. Monkey You know what? I'm okay with this. Like anything, games change and adapt with time. My old games were great, and I'll always have fond memories of playing them. I'm just happy to capture a bit of that sentimentality in a new game. You know what, Monkey Paw? You're all right. Yoink. Hee. <laughs> Wait. your typical JRPG. Not really something most people would ever want to play with. But even the worst pile of crap can be made into something wonderful with just a little effort. Exuberance. At their core, they're still bad, but you're just so overwhelmed by all the good that you really don't care. These are the games you treasure, the games you look back on with fond memories and love. Naturally, you hope to recapture that same experience today. But no! Then she snatches it away. Jigga what? Let's remove the iconic music and replace it with bland cookie cutter audio. Who needs one winged angel when you can have default audio battle music you've heard in every other fucking game? Take away engaging characters, story, or any semblance of strategy during the fights by restricting it to one person. What's that? You still have the illusion of freedom? Nope! Go take a long walk down a straight hallway for 40 hours. Which brings me to my next point. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop right there! This is not how you do Eregori. This is just... A just oh, bad! Really bad. Oh no, I can see corn. Oh, wait a second, I'm not dead! Shut up! No one likes a noisy pee! Oh.